<laughs> Why did you leave the Red Sox? What Why happened? did I? Yeah, what happened? Because I made the biggest mistake an athlete can make. What is? Baseball has a dark side that a lot of people don't know. And, and, and that dark side might be affecting right now uh, Dylan Betances. When you, when you have to go to arbitration, the teams have to look for negative things about you. Some of us have the skin to, to take it. Some other people are more sensitive. Uh, I made a huge mistake during my negotiations in 04. I kept going back and forth. Well, we're going to keep Pedro, but you know what I did? Run. I was like, I, 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 like I'm saying it now, like I always said from my heart, everything I said I meant in baseball, including the bad quotes that you probably got. Very few of them, but they were honest, honest quotes. I said, my best interest is in Boston. When you're negotiating in front of an arbitrator or in front of people, yep. business people, the business part of baseball is dark because it's money and it's business. It's not baseball. I spoke about business the way I felt about baseball and about the fan base and about the, the team. So I went, my best interest is to stay in Boston. I don't want to leave. I want to stay. I was willing to take a pay cut to stay in Boston, even though I had an outstanding year. Yes, Schilling had a better year, but I had a pretty good year. Uh, I'd done everything, including risk my career for Boston, and I was too open to say, I would just stay in Boston. I know I'm not leaving. Guess what? That led me to getting the, the worst offer that Boston could, could ever offer. And Boston is a team that normally pays. Boston and the Yankees are some of the teams that paid probably the best in the market. And I was too open when it came to negotiation. The, and this is an advice for the young players. Never open yourself up when it comes to business. Keep it quiet. Whatever feel you have, don't say it because they would try to take advantage of it. And so Theo heard that and, and Lucchino, and they were like, this guy is going to go to the extremes to actually stay with us. And that was my mistake. And you left. I, I left because the offer I got, I thought, was disrespectful at the time. I, at that time, it made me angry because I couldn't believe that they would take me that low. And I, I, I just said, no, you have 15 days to match whatever other offer I get. And I got an offer right away. I said, you have 15 days to get it. I already have what I want. Mm -hmm. they, they couldn't believe it. And they didn't match it. They didn't match it no, on time. And I gave my word to someone else, which was the first Dominican GM, Omar Minaya, who on Thanksgiving Day was sitting with me not with his family, trying to get me to agree that if I didn't get a, in 15 days with Boston, I was going to stay with them, with the Mets instead. And that's the main reason why I didn't sign with the Yankees, because I did have the proper offer from the Yankees and even more. Uh, wow. Uh, I mean, if, fan, the way, if the way they treated Damon, the way they treated yeah, but, Damon but I Box, was also so I was also aware of that, and it wasn't the fan base uh, fault that I was leaving. I knew it was a business decision from the team. And later on, I, I realized it. You know, I, I try to learn from everything. And that's when I realized that I was a bad businessman at that, at that point. <laughs> I should have never been so outspoken about my feelings with the team. And that, that led to me not getting what I wanted or getting the proper offer. Because if, if it was close to what I got with Omar... I would have stayed with Boston. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.